Hi there, in this video I'm gonna share with you how you can route audio from your DAW into Whoosh by Tunstorm. So this can be a bit more of a technical video um, and I'm gonna be using Reaper for this video, but it should apply to any other DAW so you can follow along. And one of the advantages of doing it this way is that you can import any audio into like four different tracks here that you want. Uh, you can add effects to it. So you kind of lose the op opportunity to use the engine that comes inside of Whoosh, but at the same time, it's a lot easier to just uh, drop in some sounds in here than it is to drop some sounds inside of the uh, mixer inside of Whoosh here. So, um, so with that said, let's just get started. I'm just gonna load a brand new instance of Whoosh here and then we'll get going. All right, so I have a new track going here and the first thing I'm gonna do is load a reactor. And what you're gonna wanna load here is the VST version, not the VSTi, so that we can have effects on here. So I'm just gonna load that. I'm gonna click on the play here and now I'm just gonna load Whoosh and then we can get started with the routing. All right, so once we have Whoosh loaded here, we're gonna wanna click on the edit button up here, click on the Whoosh, and this is gonna open up this panel here, and what we're gonna wanna do is click on uh, source mix here, we're gonna click on structure, and now we have the uh, structure of the source and mix here, and here is where we're gonna wanna do our first part of our work here. Uh, I'm gonna wanna right click on here, I'm gonna click on uh, built-in module, terminal, import, now it's gonna click, it's gonna create this little port here for me. And I wanna basically create eight of these. So I'm just gonna click here, duplicate, and I'm gonna create eight of these. All right, so I've created eight of these here. Now what we wanna do is to uh, label them or assign them to ports one to eight. So I'm just gonna right click again on the note here. I'm gonna select port and I'm just gonna go to one and I'm gonna do the same here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for each of these. All right, the next part here is gonna be assigning these nodes to the mix up here. So I'm just gonna assign number one to one L, number two to one R, and then we're just gonna keep going down here. So three to two L, four to two R, and et cetera. There you go, so now you should have one to eight assigned here to one to four. And next, we're gonna to wanna to go back into our Whoosh panel here, and we're gonna basically do the same thing here where we're gonna create um, another four, or sorry, another eight, uh, ports here, and then we're gonna assign them as well. So I'm just gonna do that right now. All right, so I've created my eight imports here. And again, what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna assign it to the source mix here. So I'm just gonna bring this down so it's a bit clearer, like that. Okay, and, then, and we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna assign one to the top here, in, and two, and three, all the way to number eight. All right, so you can see here, I've signed one to eight to our source plus mix our ins that we have here. So this is it here. So I can actually uh, get out of the edit. And now what you wanna do is, you'll probably wanna save it. So I'm just gonna click on the host button here. And now you can save it wherever you want. I already have mine saved here, so I'm not gonna save it again. But make sure you save it here on, on your computer just so it's easy to reload whenever you want. All right, so that's the whoosh portion of uh, the setup. Next, let's do it inside of Reaper. Let's look at what we have to do here. So here, I'm just gonna create uh, four tracks. These are gonna be the four tracks that are gonna be going and routing into whoosh here. So I'm just gonna create those four right there. And let's go back into our whoosh parent track here. So I'm just gonna label this so we know what we're talking about. This is gonna be our whoosh effect. So I'm just gonna open it up here. First thing you're gonna wanna go to is your, um, your pins tab up here, your ins and outs. You're gonna wanna create eight. So I got eight here. And basically you don't want the eight outputs, you only want left and right here. So just the two outputs, track one and two. So it should look something like this. All right, once that is done, what we're gonna do here with these uh, four tracks, which I'm gonna label right now, is we're gonna route, wanna route them into Whoosh. So let's do that next. All right, so I'm just gonna take track one, the route here. I'm just gonna go right into here. I'm gonna wanna make sure that this is assigned to one and two. This is track two here, I'm gonna wanna make sure it's assigned here to three, four. Track three to five, six. And track four to seven, eight. There you go, so now those should be routed into there. So next, let's just load in some sounds in here and see if it works. All right, so I've loaded some sounds here into my tracks. I'm just gonna open up Reaper here and I'm gonna select all of my sounds here. Parameter. I'm just gonna press play and see if it works. All right, perfect, so we can see that it works, so this is great. So I'm just gonna remove these now because what I actually wanna do is uh, create a preset uh, for these uh, so that I can quickly and easily load them up in the future. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna put all of this under a parent track. And the reason for that is because what I like to do is I like to put on 
effects on here. Uh, so if I ever want to put on any kind of effects chain, I can load it directly onto this other folder here rather than directly on this on this one here where it might kind of where it would mess up our reactor ensemble. So I'm just going to do it on this parent track. Now once we have that, I'm just going to grab all of these here. I like to keep mine all the same color so that it's nice and uniform. So I'm just going to go like this, let's say. And now what you can do here is a right click on this top parent track. And we're gonna go here to save tracks as track template. Now you can see I've already created one right here, Wish Reaper routed audio. And so I don't need to do it again, but now what's great is uh, using something like NVK search, which I have right here. I can just go load up Wish here and I can see I have it right here. I can just select it, drag, drag it and drop it into there or just double click it and it should load uh, within a few seconds here. Right, and there it is. Here's my uh, my setup. So anytime I want to recall it, I can just do that right here. All right, so a big shout out to Carly Knight uh, for posting this on her website. I actually followed it step by step on her website. It's really clear and easy to follow along. So I'll make sure to link it down below if you want to check it out and check out her work. Uh, also, a shout out to James Denham because I was actually watching one of his uh, vi videos where he was doing this technique and I was like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. So I uh, also linked down his work below. He's a great sound designer, also has great tutorials on YouTube. So if you want to check him out, I'll make sure to have a link in the description. All right, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching all the way through, through to the end. If you want to see another video about uh, whooshes and creating whooshes, I'll have it here on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.